Hello everyone and how's it going? So today we are going to talk about MDocs. This is one of the leading companies and it provides us uh, different profiles to apply. You know, when you are applying for MDocs, you can apply for Software Engineering Associate or Software Engineering in Java or Software Engineering Python. They might come to your company with a one particular profile, but these are the different profiles that they have. They also do have the other profiles, but particularly they come to colleges for hiring for software engineering. Then coming up to the rounds that we are going to discuss is the round one. We have an, an MCQ test. Round one is a knockout round. If you do not pass this, you do not move to the next rounds. Round one comprises of the aptitude technical that will uh, include your computer science knowledge that operating systems, DD, BMS, computer networks, then there will be coding round in which you will have uh, coding questions uh, based upon Java or CPP language you prefer. Then pro programming language MCQ will be also be based on the language you choose. Then we have the psychology test followed by technical round and HR round. So in the round one MCQ test, we have first up we have aptitude. I have mentioned here the basic topics you should prepare in case of an uh, aptitude test okay go all uh, through all these topics solve around 15 questions for all these topics and that would be enough solve variety of problems and i would advise you to solve this uh, these topics in this order because i've sorted these in the order of importance uh, then you can prefer rs agarwal indiabix.com and also freshernows.com is there for uh, in case you want to you know know about uh, more questions that are currently being asked then if you want to apply for a mock test of aptitude you can go to testbook.com next up we have uh, for the technical section in the mcq test uh, these are the topics that are covered cpp or java you can select and oops concepts can be given like you know a class will be defined an object is defined then you have to select uh, the is the syntax is correct based upon the function overloading overriding linux basic commands can also be asked you, you should also know that uh, all the concepts like os is very vast okay so you should know that only easy to medium question will be asked but that will cover a lot of breadth you know a number of topics will be covered but in OS also, you should know that there are some uh, popular topics like deadlocks is very popular topic for reasons that uh, why uh, deadlock can occur. You should know the most important topic from uh, OS, DBMS and CN. Do not prepare everything. Prepare the important topics only. And then you later, if you have time, then pr prepare for the uh, less important topics also. Like for OS, I will advise deadlocks, interrupts, threads, processes, scheduling, cache. These are enough. And then you have time. Then you go to paging, virtual memory, and other things. In DBMS, normal forms, primary keys, candidate keys, transactions, SQL queries, SQL queries, particularly like, especially SQL queries can be asked. You can give in, uh, two questions for SQL separately. Asset properties are important. They can ask you even the full form for that. For, for uh, then coming to CN, you should have OSI layer, network topologies, and physical layer and network layer are particularly important because a lot of questions are asked on that. Then classless, classful addressing uh, is like you know less asked, but that can also be asked. Then some uh, most popular protocols they can always touch upon like TCP/IP, FTP, HTTP. I have mentioned here the resources like from geeks for geeks you should go on each of these links i'm going to put them down in the description also go on these links and you should read about like which are the different topics that we have now coming to the third section of the mcq test that is the coding problems you have three problems 60 minutes two easy problems will be there like easy problems in the sense like uh, you know beginners level or level kind of problem whereas uh, there will be at least one difficult problem uh, then the easy problem will be from strings array pattern printing you know like i've mentioned here the sample questions also you can realize that palindrome reversing reversing a string is 
a different question and that is fairly easy but reversing words in a string i would say is kind of medium to difficult level of problem uh, then selection sort insertion sort uh, not particularly these questions can be asked but these questions do reflect the difficulty of questions that will be asked and then swap values in two variable without using the third variable that is a very common question and you should go uh, on internet and uh, you know find basic questions uh, in coding and solve all of them do not try difficult problems like merge sort or uh, quick sort those level of difficulty of problem uh, are very like unlikely to be asked then the sources to prepare for the, this coding problems is geeks for geeks means archives you can go to like you can also uh, solve the problems for string and array but you can go to particularly geeks for geeks archives for mdocs and solve questions also on glassdoor uh, you can prepare for from the you know interview experience and from prep insta also provides you with the you know outline of the process and that how you can solve the questions a psychology te test will also be taken uh that this is sometimes optional like it is not taken but a lot of time it is also conducted it tests your personality 15 minutes 50 questions the things you can sh see on the screen uh, apart from that i would like to tell you that this is basically to judge you judge your personality like uh will this i do i want this candidate in my team they want to know about that will you be you know nice to talk to will you be energetic uh, Will will you be somebody who is given some work and you know uh, learn about it and solve it instead of just reverting back that you cannot do it? Uh, are you somebody you know who who uh, like commits a mistake and keeps thinking about it? No, you should be somebody who lets it go. So you can go through the psychometric um, tests and questions. I have given a link right here. You will find it in the description for more questions like this. and be really optimistic and positive while answering these questions uh then up uh, next up you can have the technical round in which you have one coding question oops concepts will be asked operating system dbms cn resume based projects and why mdocs this is very important i have mentioned the you know the most popular most uh, probable topics that can be asked from uh, in your interview it is quite possible that you are only asked on operating system and computer networks and not at all on dbms it is also possible that your uh, interview will be completely based on your resume like you mentioned that i have done this project and then he will ask you okay then how do you do this thing in python if it is a python based project or can you tell me how this thing can be done in django or if you know javascript then how in that like it can go to about you also in specific and it is quite possible that he might ask you these kind of questions from the core concepts of uh, computer science do refer the last uh, link if you want to learn or uh, oops in deep only in depth if you want to know then only you should uh, refer this playlist on youtube or uh, this is uh, by neresh id if you do not want to go into do, uh, depth for oops concept uh then you can refer just you know geeks for geeks some of the uh, important topics you can guess the gist of it also uh, uh, keep note that for the technical round also you will be asked like tell me something about yourself and you should be very uh, comprehensive when you answer this question like tell about your marks tell about your uh, grades then what is your major minor tell about uh, you know and the projects you have created when you are telling about a project you should tell what was the idea why do you wanted to create it just the important interesting things not the boring things like the technology you used you used python and django then you uh, you can say um for the front end you used this thing then at the back end you trained a machine learning model so what was it based on bayes theorem or something do not uh, get into any kind of boring stuff and also tell uh, if you have won a prize in something like did you reach to regional level something in that competition was it conducted by some good organization like iit bombay mention those things right uh, also mention a lot of technical terms so that you sound very confident also prepare always prepare counter questions 
on whatever you are going to tell about something. Then next up, you will have the HR round. This is basically to test, you know, your passion and, uh, you know, your zest to join a company. You should prepare three, four reasons why you should, why you want to join MDocs. Like uh, you will grow there. You will like the environment and it will going to give you the opportunities in uh, and direction in which you want to go. Like you should know uh, where, uh, in which, in how many countries MDocs is present. Uh, then um, number of offices, when it was started, all these things you should know. And a few uh, questions like behavioral questions can be asked, like what you will do in a particular situation can be asked to you. A general typical HR question can be asked, right? So thank you. That's it for this one. If you haven't liked the video already, just like it, subscribe it. And thank you. That's it for this one.